Here at St Paul's Anglican Church and we're going to have a special prayer service now uh, for the death of Queen Elizabeth II. I'm here with uh, the Anglican Bishop of Canberra and Goulburn, uh, Bishop Mark Short, and one of our priests, Father Joshua Scott. Bishop Short, uh, the effect of um, the contribution of the Queen over these years must, must be reflected upon greatly in these days. Yes, I mean, Her Late Majesty was a wonderful example of dedicated service to think that one would give 70 years of one's life to a calling like hers is absolutely amazing. And she was also a, a wonderful example of profound uh, Christian faith. So it's appropriate that we gather together in worship to remember and give thanks for her life and service. Yes, she's certainly a woman of great faith. She became sort of a kind of a mother figure, I think, not just for the Anglican Church, but uh, for the Commonwealth and indeed the global church in an area of in a time of great uh, fluidity and um, uncertainty, do you think, a sort of a still point? Yes, I, I was reflecting on that. When she uh, ascended to the throne in 1952, it was in the aftermath of World War II, and since then we've seen tremendous social and cultural change. And as you say, uh, she was, in a sense, an island of stability in the midst of all of that. Yes, and Father Josh, uh, uh, the Queen, of, the, of course, being the Queen in your entire lifetime and in my entire lifetime too, so it has a big effect, doesn't it? It does, and having her death happen around this time too is being so sudden, yes. and with this I think it's a, a perfect opportunity for us to come together as brothers and sisters in faith to pray for the soul of this beautiful woman. Beautiful, thank you.